All right. So, well, hi, Marco. Hi. Thanks for joining us here, and uh, we're really interested to see your new Marco Oldermatt uh, Dessin collection. Ski stars with their own collection, that's something which is quite, quite rare. How do you feel about this opportunity in general? Yeah, it's a great opportunity to anyway work together with Desson and now to have my own collection uh, makes it even more special, I guess. So far, the look of the collection was a bit of a secret. Uh, how do you feel about sharing these designs now uh, with all the skiers and your fans in the world? Are you confident that the people will like it? <laughs> uh, you never know. I, I hope so. I think uh, it looks really cool. Uh, when we yeah, made all the photo shootings uh, this spring in the mountains, it looks even uh, better, I guess, uh, for me. And now also to see all the, the pictures, the video we produced, and yeah, to see the clothes moving. Uh, yeah, that uh, looks very good. And I hope yeah, all the fans and customers like it. Normally you wear the official ski team wear, which is also made by the Sound. And you wear this every day. Now this signature collection is made also by the Sound. But can you describe the general differences between the two different outfits? How do you feel are the outfits different? Yeah, for sure the look. Uh, as a Swiss national skier, you're uh, all in red. So uh, this is for sure uh, something I like to change because uh, yeah, I yeah, see me the whole winter in red, so I really wanted some other colors. Uh, yeah, and I think it's a little bit more, a little bit cooler, maybe. The other things are, the other items are just, yeah, the national equipment stuff, and uh, this is a little bit more individual. Yeah, I also think it looks like it's a very young and trendy and, and, and technical, but quite daring collection, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as well with the two different colors, I guess uh, it's something for everyone. And uh, for sure, as a young sporty athlete, uh, you want to also show something which uh, fits to you and uh, to the, not just to the young guys for sure, but also bring something new. Mm. Is there an item in the collection that, that you love more than all, your, all the other items? Is something that you think this is like the from all the outstanding pieces, the most outstanding piece? Why well, uh, difficult to say. Uh, for sure the jackets are probably uh, the most important things. Uh, but as well, this, this uh, mid-layer is really cool to wear in nearly everyday situations. Uh, depends in winter under the jacket or as well just in spring or autumn to wear it like, like now. So um, yeah, many cool pieces, I guess. You travel quite a bit, so I think that's a great piece, probably tra traveling and exactly, being yeah. on the airplanes <laughs> and in the car. So, but you know, doing the, your own ski wear collection must be something totally different for you because you're a professional athlete. Uh, this is a totally different profession, of course. So. How do you feel about this process? How was it for you? Yeah, it's uh, definitely something new uh, to work on clothes. Uh, was for me the first time. Uh, very interesting to work uh, together. And yeah, it's really hard to just make the decision by colors or just a piece of paper. Uh, yeah, you can't just yeah touch it or see it on a person. So this was a little bit challenging, but I think we managed it uh, together with Desson for sure uh, to produce something very well. Initially when the white was a discussion you were a little suspicious and uh, when it came out it looked a little bit different than you imagined, right? Is that one of the examples? Yeah, exactly. Uh, on the paper, yeah, the jacket looked nearly white and I said, oh, you know, uh, if you sit in dirt or something uh, or if you're not a good uh, eater so you have all on the jacket that uh, wouldn't be good so but now uh, yeah it looks different it's not a not a white so uh, I really really like the, the light jacket um, yeah I think the combination as well with the black uh, tip uh, makes it really powerful and nice and during the filming and the photo shoot that we had in May uh, where we've been where we where you've been skiing in Engelberg which is I guess your home mountain right yeah, exactly. Engelberg is uh, my home man for a long, long time. Uh, I've been in Engelberg in a sports school for 
uh, five years and yeah, even the years before I skied there, I still love to ski there now. A little bit less time during winter, uh, sadly, but uh, if I'm on skis at home, it's most of the time it's in Engelberg and yeah, we took a perfect winter day and I think uh, we will see it later in the video, but uh, the shooting was very nice. And you wore the white jacket. Uh, how did it feel to wear that white jacket in your home ground? <laughs> Yeah, very good. Um, as I said in the beginning, uh, the picture, I was really happy with the results and the videos. Uh, yeah, the colors in the nature, in the mountain with the natural light um, are even stronger, I guess, and looks even cooler. So yeah, that uh, was a great day. Through social media, we have seen you racing, charging hard, having very tough days, uh, being competitive. But sometimes on social media also show pictures of yourself, uh, skiing by yourself, occasionally even doing a backflip. Um, any ideas how you want to grow your collection in the future? Do you have any vision of how, how, what direction it should go? Well, I think it should just look cool all the time. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it fits to my person to bring up a little bit something new with energy and yeah, maybe yeah, it will doesn't look the same for the next years, I guess. We will come up with new ideas and new colors maybe as well. So, uh, yeah, just show something new. How about women's collection? Yeah, I think uh, I have enough uh, women around me to help me with that uh, pieces. So uh, I think we can definitely do something as well there. So skiing for you is not only a leisure time experience. I mean, it's a professional, it's a hard job. But sometimes you have time to ski by yourself or for yourself uh, without gates and given boundaries. So what, what would the perfect ski day be for you? What would you do on a, on a day where you are privately uh, skiing? Yeah, this is actually something I nearly miss the most uh, about my job to ski for myself because, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm on skis nearly 150 days a year but maybe just three, four, five days for myself. The season is yeah, full with races, with training. So my yeah, first three ski days, most of the time is after the last race, uh, which takes place end of March, beginning of April. So really just uh, spring skiing. Uh, but yeah, I just like to be up early uh, to have more or less uh, a free slope to also ski with, uh, with speed and then yeah, in the end of the afternoon, for sure, I have a little bit of apreshi that fits perfectly in a good uh, mountain or ski day. And of course, always in Engelberg. <laughs> Not always, but uh, most of the time. <laughs> now you're 26 years old. In the meantime, you won two overall World Cups, Olympic golds, World Championship gold medals. That seems to be like everything that a skier can dream of. Where do you find the motivation to keep training? going forward, what, what drives your motivation in a situation like you already have? Yeah, that's true. It uh, will probably be something which is going to be challenging the next years, but uh, uh, as long as you want to ski, as you want to race, you want to win. If you won once, you don't want to get second or last. So, um, And if you know what it takes to win races, uh, <laughs> you definitely know that you have to work hard and um, yeah, it's not a, a winter job, it's uh, all over the year. We start training beginning of May again already for the new season. So the hardest part is actually the summer and as long as I yeah, can keep pushing myself uh, in summer, I know I'm prepared for the winter. And if you don't like it anymore, you can still be a designer, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. We will see how uh, the success will be with the clothes. <laughs> well, thank you, Marco, for, uh, for uh, your help with the collection. Thank I you. think all the people from the Sound are super excited. We're really, really happy to be here, to have this introduction of this new collection to the world. You know, it's an internationally sold uh, collection. Uh, and let's hope that the designs go well we are all very confident and we, it's great to have you on our team. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, uh, Red and Descent. Um, yeah, it's a great opportunity for myself and yeah, let's hope to see many jackets all over the world. Great. <laughs>